All right, people, welcome back to some more card review. So today we are looking at yet another Link monster. Just one for this video. I know on Monday we had two, but this one's just going to be one. Uh, this one's a little bit more controversial than the other two. The other two are pretty much just starting it off your generic, you know, utopia, freaking gotcha, gotcha, just generic, throw it in your extra deck ones. This is where we get a little bit more situational, a little bit more controversial, a little bit more selective when it comes to uh, which lunch monster you're going to choose. So let's go ahead and hop into it. So this is Honeybot. She is a light cyber, so she's also a cybers as well. Link effect monster. Her link monsters are left and right. So she is definitely not one that you want to just summon into your extra zone because she doesn't point in any direction that will allow you to summon additionally to your uh, mon min, uh, monsters from your extra deck into your main monster zone. So she's um, a connector. You know, you want to put like, you know, your Gaia Saber uh, or your Decode and then summon her and then she'll be like, hey, I point left and right. So, I, you know, up and more in your main monster zone, but she's not good. She doesn't just come out uh, early starting off with into the extra deck to then allow for more play so yeah that, that that's definitely going to happen for her she's not doing her attack zero defense because of course she has no defense can't be put in defense i don't know how many times to tell you guys this it's link monsters she's a link two so uh she doesn't require as many materials as decode talker de talker or gaia saber which is nice the video night uh so she would only be a neg one which is what we're generally used to you know we're generally used to negging one Unless you're fusion summoning, which is like, okay, poly plus the two cards, it's neg two. You know, that's like, oh, synchro summon, tuner, non-tuner, that's a neg one. XC, that's a neg one, you know, so this this is also a neg one. But what's the, it's nice that she's a link two, but the problem is she needs two cyber type monsters. So it's not something that you're going to be, she's not something that you're going to be throwing in every deck. You know, she's specifically for the cyber type. If you're not playing the cyber type, there's really no point in, you know, throwing her in the extra deck. She won't really be she won't be summoned you know so she's not as flexible as generic as d talker and guy saber who is just like hey you know three monsters three effect monsters she's like no i need two cybers type monsters if you ain't playing cyber types you ain't summoning her so i don't know she's getting she's really hampered you know she's not generic uh she's not an extra deck monster you just want to summon straight out to your extra deck to allow for uh more zones with the link monster she's just you know left and right but she has she's something that wants to be connected to another link monster in the main monster zone uh but she actually has an effect she has an effect so let's go ahead and look at it so her effect is neither player can target monsters in this card's link monsters with card effects also those monsters cannot be destroyed battle so monsters linked to her cannot be targeted and destroy a battle that's pretty good that really is that is actually pretty good um now, the problem is, is that she herself is not that strong. She's only 1900. You can run her over, and then she's not, you know, linked to anything. She's dead, you know? So, those monsters are not protected. But just to have that little effect that monsters that are linked to her can't be targeted or destroyed by a card effect. Well, no. Cannot be targeted or destroyed by battle. Excuse me. Uh, it's pretty good. Now, now I said what I really was hoping that I would say is that the link monsters cannot be destroyed by card effects. You know, if she was able to make the two monsters... Uh, of hers be uh, that are linked to her pretty much become magic specters they'd be pretty good but it, no it's targeted or destroyed by battle they can still be destroyed by card effects and uh, as we know being destroyed by card effects is really popular right now and it seems like it, destroying the card effects might still be popular when link summons you know you, you put up a lot of resources to do these link summons the link monsters are very important to doing additional play from the extra deck and to be able to just be like alright dark hall regeki get rid of your link monsters clean that shit up you know you take a super nay it would hurt. So the fact that the monsters that are linked to her aren't protected by card effects, yeah, can that be great? If you had her and she was linked to two other monsters, and it's like, yeah, well, I could throw this Regeki at you, but it would really, it would only kill her. You know, it wouldn't kill, you know, the monsters that are linked to her, and then you could use those monsters to potentially do more link summoning for next turn. But no, if I Regeki you, she's dead. The monsters that are linked to her are dead. That Regeki doesn't target, and of course Regeki's not showing you a battle. Goodbye. You know. So, it would have been nice if you kind of made them Major Spectre monsters, you know, protecting them from target and destroy a card effect, but it's just target and battle. So, yeah, yeah. So, not as great, not as great, especially since she's not generic. If she's generic, maybe we could talk, but she needs two cyber type monsters, I don't think so. And she's only 1900, and once she's gone, the monsters that were linked to her lose their protection, of course, so. 
that's pretty much all I have to say about it. This is kind of a short one for the longer one on Monday. So tell me what you guys think about Honeybot in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Uh, we will be back next week with some more uh, Link Monsters to look at. As I said, I believe as of right now, at this moment, we have two more Link Monsters to look at, which we will be doing for uh, the next uh, card reviews for next week. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. I really do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Uh, if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that like button to show that you really enjoyed the video. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications because I know some people are like, hey, I sub to you, I haven't seen any of your videos in my sub box. It's like, well, you know, I do content pretty much daily. If there's something wrong, you're not seeing, if you're sub to me and you're not seeing things in the sub box, you might want to hit that bell to get notified because YouTube and their algorithm, it's just, it's it's weird. It's really, all right? So make sure you do that if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next week with some more cards to look at for card review. All right, people, thanks for watching.